Emerson, and we are going to be talking about a new topic in math. So we are going to be learning about equality. And equality deals with the equal sign. Now we use the equal sign all the time in math when we're solving addition and subtraction problems, when we're comparing numbers or comparing fractions. And now we're going to use it to compare equations. Now, just as a refresher, the equal sign means that something is equal to something else or is the same as something else. So you might see the equal sign when we have equations such as 3 plus 3 equals 6. So 3 plus 3 is the same as six. We also use the equal sign. We might have nine is the same as five plus four. Now I'm going to show you another symbol that we will be using for equality that we haven't used yet this year. And that is the not equal sign. So right here we have the equal sign. And for not equals, we just draw a slanted line through the equal sign. And that means not equal to. So not equal to, it's not the same as. So for example, three plus three is not equal or not the same as seven. All right, so this is the not equal sign. To give us more of a visual example of equality, we are going to use a number balance. And how this works is, as you can see, my number balance is level right now. But as I hang weights on it, my balance dips down, depending on the weight. And you might have used this before in other math classes. It is a great visual. All right, so let's get started. So I have my weight and I am going to hang it on the pegs. Now we're just gonna start off by hanging my weight on the three. So I have three and I wanna see what would be the same as three. So if I ha hang my weight on the three on the other side, my level is, or my balance is leveling out. As you can see, my balance is straight, which means it's balanced. So three is equal to or the same as three. Now, if I were to hang this on a five, I wanna find two numbers that can add together to equal five or be the same as five. So I'm thinking in my head, well, maybe I'm gonna try a two. All right, but looking at my balance, five is not equal to two, which means I need to add another weight to that side to try to see what would equal five. So, I have five and two, and I wanna know what plus two will equal five. So I'm gonna put my weight on the three. And looking at my balance, is it pretty level? Yes. So five is equal to or is the same as two plus three. Let's try another one. If I have six and four, so I have six plus four. 
and I want to have two numbers that can add together to be the same as 6 and 4. So I'm going to hang one of my weights on the 7. Is 6 plus 4 the same as 7? No. So 6 plus 4 is not equal to 7. But I want to try to find the number that I can add to 7 to be the same as 6 plus 4. So 7 plus, hmm, let's try 3. Looking at my balance, 6 plus 4, is it the same as 7 plus 3? Yes, it is level and equal. This is another example of a number balance. This one is just online. It is linked in your Google Classroom as well as on the weekly newsletter. So let's practice equality using the online number balance. So if I have one of my pieces and I were to drop it on five, as you can see my number balance dips down on the side with the peg on five. If I were to put the peg on the five again, it seems level. And now I'm going to check my answer. So I have five, is equal to and I'm correct let's try another one so if I have six I want to think of two numbers that can add together that will equal six so maybe I might try two and four and I'm going to check Six is equal to two plus four. Yep. So what would you do if we didn't have a number balance to use as a visual and you needed to de determine whether an equation is equal? What you will need to do is solve out the equation is just like what you would do if you were solving a regular math problem. So I have 4 plus 4 equals 5 plus 3. And I want to decide whether the statement is true. So 4 plus 4, that's a double. And I know my doubles facts, so that must be 8. Next, I have 5 plus 3. And I can use the counting on strategy to figure this one out since we are adding by three. So I'm going to go six, seven, eight. So five plus three is equal to eight. So is this equation true? Yes. Four plus four is the same as five plus three. Now, what if I had a different equation that I wanted to figure out whether it is true. What if I had seven minus three is equal to six? minus four. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with my last equation. I'm going to solve this side first and then I'm gonna move over to the other side. So seven minus three, I can use the counting back strategy since it is minus three. So I'm gonna go six, five, four. So seven minus three equals four. Now I want to look at 6 minus 4. Hmm. I know that 4 plus 2 equals 6. So 6 minus 4 must be 2. 
So is that equation equal? No. If I were to use or correct the equal sign, I would use the not equal sign. So 7 minus 3 is not equal to 6 minus 4. Thanks for practicing equality with me. Continue practicing using the online number balance as well as doing the activities that we've included